as we left off, you guys had did your Baraka card readings in Madame Eva's tent. And you guys got a lot of information that uh, you guys have written down, and I will not be repeating. <laughs> so you're going to be, you got to keep track of I that can, stuff I on your own. go back to Discord. Um, but yeah, so Madam Eva has kicked you guys out of their tent. Um, um, sorry, here you go, Doug. I don't want to eat anymore. I got a DM. No, nah, I mean, we don't mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's the one that doesn't eat on camera. And you guys now exit the, uh, the, 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 the tent, and you guys return to the um, bonfire where the other Vistani are now sort of like relaxing with wine. They seem to have finished most of their meal. Bryn walks up to you, kind of shambling with like a bottle of wine, and he goes, Well, uh, what exactly happened in there? Yes. Um, we got our fortunes read. It was the best ah. thing ever. So tell me, uh, d d t Tiefling, I, I, I didn't catch your name. Uh, Moonchild. Right, right. Okay, Moonchild. Well, what exactly ha- what, what was the fortune? Anything juicy? And then you see as Eliza, the other one, goes, Oh, Brynn, would you just stop- Stop bothering them. Uh, look, dearies, you, you, you might too want to eat something. Y'all look famished. Um, and they're gonna offer you some of the food from before. Um, the pig itself is almost completely gone now. Uh, it's fed about, like, three or four families. Um, but there is a little bit of pig meat yeah, left. Yeah, that was a big-ass pig. Yeah, um, it's a big-ass pig. There's some well, there's a lot of people meat left. Here, yeah, uh, I mean, of course. So, we're using our imagination that there are, there's about <coughs> four or five families. Um, but with the three men being sort of, like, leaders of each, like, caravan, essentially. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, yeah, so they're going to offer you additional food um, if you guys want to eat. Uh, you see Irina, she's sort of like, um, she's still on that log, uh, and she's looking kind of tired and yawning a little bit. Um, and she has a rather large woolen blanket wrapped around her, and she looks very sleepy. Uh, uh, okay, easy. I'll, I walk over to Irina, huh? and uh, right. I ask her if she okay. finished, uh, finished the... the the cl clothing I asked her to, to make. Huh? Uh, she's gonna nod a little bit and goes, Oh, I'm sorry. Not exactly. Um, I was busy eating, but if you give me till tomorrow morning, it should be finished. Um, she kind of gives a sheepish grin and kind of like digs around in her, uh, backpack for sort of the, the, the item that you wanted her to make. Um, he goes, I'm a little bit sleepy at the moment. Uh, but I promise it will be done in the morning. Cool. Thank you. No rush. Uh, yeah. And she's going to take a sip from uh, one of the bottles of wine. Um, yeah. Uh, and so it's up to you guys what you guys want to do. Um, I would say you guys please make sure to eat something because I'm kind of still keeping track of that. Not that we're out of town. Uh. uh can can mm. I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, it's it's role playing time, so you can yeah. ex view this as sort of downtime, um, slash role playing time. So you yeah, guys can do we, yeah, yeah, because we left our cart like a little bit back. I know. Yeah, how. and and, <laughs> and the cart the carts to the south right here uh, with the um the, the the two horses and the mule. Oh, I ate, yeah. I ate some of the 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 pig before we went into the tent, so I'm good. Okay, gotcha. I oh, I did as well. Yeah. I just, well, I, 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 have, I, 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 I'd even eat nuts. I kept the nuts. I haven't <laughs> eaten. <laughs> uh, the only thing, like, I will eat, I will eat, but, like, I have this one important question, because it looks like clearly we're going to be camping out. Oh, there's two. Um, I, so basically, <laughs> we, we have our cart all there's the way three. down <laughs> to the south. Yeah, the map, is, yeah, Is, yeah. is, is it <laughs> any way possible that we can okay. bring it <laughs> closer <laughs> around, y'all? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to just, uh, who, who, someone has to get, like, to pull the horses forward, but it should be it. easy. Who? I'll do it. I'll huh? do it. Go ahead and roll me an animal handling check with advantage, okay. um, and then I can move the cart up if you succeed. Okay, hold on. Uh -huh. That guy. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Did, did, did I, did I, uh, did I hit my head? Or, or do I see three moonchilds? 
Um, you said advantage, right? No, I see them uh, too. <laughs> I'm actually hit them. Is it three? There was. I didn't even see this. I don't yeah, see this. It was a glitch. I was trying to like move her around. But then I, I, it was a glitch. You right. said advantage, right? Yeah, with advantage. Animal handling with advantage. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, 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 you're fine. It was funny. All right, I, I, I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna try to go to bed, Ben? But, but yeah, I'm moving yeah. the cart. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. well, I'm animal sleeping in the just, bush. The, the the horses kind of listen to you. Uh, just ping me where you want to move them. Okay. Well, how is everybody? Like, what's a free spot like near here? Like, exactly. Uh, I mean, since there is multiple right people. Right here. You can like it. Like I don't know. There's like a lot of space. Yeah. Right there. Right here. Right here would be good. That way we can get on the road again faster in the morning. Yeah, but we can't block it out for the rest of the people. That I mean, they don't have move. horses on their stuff. They're they're parked. Like their their horses aren't there. Yeah. So I, I'm just gonna. You guys can assume that the horses are kind of like to the side, like off the map grazing. You know. Um. Yeah, but yeah. They, they don't have their horses nearby. They're, they're just. Then, like, and and like Irina knew passion. about this place, yeah. so they're not leaving anytime soon. Then yeah, I would like the cart to be like aimed like somewhere like towards the bonfire and like the horses like that you know you know what i mean like the direction mm. so basically like Man, this so part cool. is aiming closer towards like the bonfire part and then yeah. the horse is just aiming like outwards okay uh, okay because i feel like i feel like since the bonfire is there if we sleep on the cart then the heat will still get close towards us at least so we'll be like a little bit warm where, it's not where do that you want the horses uh, basically in front. So I want. So basically, you see like the back of this cart, right? Yeah. Uh, like aims like a little bit more towards the bonfire. Okay. okay. And then, the, and then, yeah, the horses like aim out. Okay. Cool. Uh, and also, they yeah, got like what? What like other things they got from like the party foods? Uh, what do you mean the besides party food? The, befi- besides the pork, like the celebration. Oh, well, yeah, they, they they have um. So so the remaining food is essentially just uh vegetable based things. Um, all of the vegetables basically that Granny have told you guys like very basic like greens and like but primarily potatoes. The land in Barovia, if you guys remember from Granny, she told you guys <laughs> that it's not very fertile. Um, so it's primarily potatoes, rutabagas, purple vegetables. Um, and there are some. Uh, light greens that like barely grew, but it seems that Arena has eaten all of the greens. Yeah. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. I'm gonna I'm ask, uh, damn, I forgot their names. Uh, that's Bryn. Them, Ar- Ar- Ardrick? No, this is Bryn. Bryn, okay. This is Aliza. Ask... Aliza. This is Alec. Bryn. Lynn, Brisa, Alec. Okay. Um, uh, I'm I'm gonna take. The, is are the potatoes cooked or raw? Uh, they are. They they were cooked and like roasting on the um. Damn, the, I was good. I was good. They roasted on the fire. Okay, yeah, I would like to take some baked potatoes. Roasted yeah. potatoes. Um. Yeah. So you kind of like I'm get yourself. Uh, I would say you get yourself. Um. I guess a plate full of uh, baked potatoes. I'm gonna like and like yeah. three whole potatoes on my plate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got three whole potatoes on your plate. <laughs> I know it's oddly. Awesome. I know it's oddly specific, like you know, Pacific, whatever the word. Yeah, yeah but like, no worries. Yeah. Green whole potatoes. And yeah. I'm just gonna like sit like right on the ground, and just like eat nearby the fire with uh, Irina. Yeah, yeah. So you you do that. No, uh, that doesn't require much. You do that. Sounds good to go. Um, and the celebration is kind of dying down right now. A lot of the Vistani have returned to either their makeshift tents here or kind of like they're camping inside their carts. So like you see you guys watching the Vistani return to their tents and their carts. Bryn and Aliza are still up. Uh Aliza's kind of like um kind of like carving mm-hmm. out the rest of the hog to sort of like <coughs> store away. And Bryn right. is washing the dishes. Um and he's actually handing a couple to Alec and he's going to the river to wash the dishes basically. He's kind of like riding over there washing dishes uh, and he's doing nightly help? things. Uh yeah, do you want? Yeah, yeah. Uh and, okay, so you go over there and you help Alec. It goes, uh you would you guys are guests. You don't need to help. Oh. And then he kind of like goes like a this very, is a like, payment. Uh, of course, of course. Come, 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 come. Help me scrub. And then I guess uh we can say that you help him. You're like helping him scrub dishes and pots and pans. 
while um, Baja does that, uh, Decca, Moonchild, and Ben, what are you guys up to? I went to sleep. I okay. wanted uh, to Where ask... are you sleeping? In the tree. Okay, what? so you Did guys you see Ben <laughs> as sort of uh, Ben scurries up into the trees, and are you just sleeping in the tree, or are you keeping watch? What is what does no, that mean I, to I went to sleep. Okay, all right. So Ben goes to sleep. Ben, you can roll for a long rest. I right, just clicked the wrong rest. Long rest yeah, button. I did. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Moonchild and Decca, what are you guys up to? I had a question about yeah, the, what's up? to the girl. What's her name? Aliza. Aliza, okay. So I go up to her while she's arguing. And uh, Aliza, I had a question about uh, what was what was the grandma's name again? <laughs> Madam something, I don't know. Madam something, what was it? Madam Eva. <laughs> I have a question about Madam Eva. Yes, dear, what exactly do you have? I was really intrigued by her tear, tar, what was Taraco. it? Taraco. 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 Taraco cards. And I wanted to ask if you think that she would teach me. You have your own guess, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> and so, so Lisa pauses, and then she kind of grins lightly, and she goes... Well, I think she's willing to to help anybody learn their fortunes, but the Taraka cards themselves require an ancient form of magic that would take a some time to understand and comprehend. Um, I personally don't know how to read the cards myself, but perhaps after a couple of years, you might start to understand the magic. Uh, uh, resolving the threads of fate themselves can be highly difficult hmm. where do you think you, i could learn this magic would i just have to learn from her i would i would say so yes hmm. if you stay behind we have a mission <laughs> i would say but if you really want you could ask madam eva when she is i suppose in the morning when she's feeling better she is quite elderly but but, but when you feel better with her uh she might teach you some basic divination magic that might help you on your way, but the, the, the Taraka cards themselves require almost a lifetime of dedication. It's really why she is the elder and she's, she's the one that does the readings. Well, I'm committed to learn for a lifetime. I like huh? learning things. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so actually, so mechanically, if you do want to learn the Taraka card readings, um, you would have to have a conversation with Madame Eva, of course, like she said. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. But then afterwards, um, I guess each day, each long rest, uh, I can have you roll on. I can have you roll an Arcana check. Oh, we can't um, just take your And basically, you can start to gain the ability to read the decks over time. I would say it's going to take a good chunk of time. Yeah. Um, like actual in game time, but mm -hmm. it would it would be possible to learn how to read that. Yes. Okay. We are we are the time zone. We ha we have to take point A to point B. Well, he didn't mean that we should have to stay here. But it's gonna be a couple of days for it to learn. Um. Well, okay, so no, it'll just be on the road. But she'll teach her how. And she'll have to, like, uh, yeah. uh, Aliza doesn't know what is involved with learning the Taraka cars. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's pretty evident. You can just tell from her face that she doesn't really know what's involved. But if you want to talk to Madame Eva about mm -hmm. it, you might get more insight. You might okay. know more. Right, and then Elisa kind of like pats you on the shoulder and goes, Oh dear, don't worry about the fates for now. You just get some rest. Madame Eva is not exactly going to be awake much longer. I feel like she might already be asleep. She is quite old. I'll just ask um, her in the morning. Yeah, sounds good. And then, then she's going to nod, and then she's going to continue sort of, like, finishing off the, the, the boar and sort of packaging it away. In, um, you, you see her package it into, like, these wooden boxes as well as, like, a couple of, like, um, small little barrels to, like, package the meat. Um, you actually see her dip the chunks of meat into salt, essentially, to try to preserve the meat. Um, okay, so Moonchild and Dekka, you guys are still awake. Baja, you guys see Baja finishing up. It's about 30 minutes later before Baja finishes us up doing the dishes. Um, and Alec sort of pats your back, Baja, and goes, That was wonderful! Yes, come back around next time. We could always use a dishwasher. No problemo. Free of charge if you keep giving me booze. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> the, we can drink the night away. And then he uh, he leads you back to the group. Yeah. Um, yeah, and is there anything else you guys want to do before uh, we, we, you know, we do the long oh. rest and the day is anew? I would like um... to know where Irina is going to be sleeping. Oh. Um, so... <laughs> yeah, so for the moment, Irina has actually just curled herself up by the log. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, she's asleep by the log. She hasn't really moved. She's kind of, She nodded off now um, because she does have to do stuff for Ben in the morning. And I think she, uh, you can kind of gather she just wants to quit uh, to sleep early and then get up early, basically. All right. But she, she's right here. She's on, like right next to the log, right at the center of the camp, which should be the safest spot. So we're assuming there are a bunch of like people like, camped. Yeah, and the cart is like closing it too. Yeah. Right. So Irina's already asleep, and I've already rolled for her long rest. Decca was gonna say something. Yeah, Decca, you're up. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat some pork and then sleep near my mule. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watch as uh, Decca uh, kind of Decca lays you guys down next to his mule, or near yeah, him? Yeah, like 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 near him or on top of him. Are, are you gonna like, like slump like, on top of him, like, like how you passed out <laughs> between between this space here? Okay, huh? so you can slip on top of the barrel, like against the barrel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, he passes out next to the barrel. Um. Also, uh, double checking because there are dream sequences. Who had pie? The moon pie or the, the... moon? Yeah. Um, remember the pies you... from the the granny? Uh, uh, I still have a piece, I, and I also gave. I don't think I moon pie, but I ate pie. I, I, I have yeah. pie. I don't have moon pie, though. There was rhubarb. There was... Okay. There was the I don't know. Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. Okay, so I forgot. You guys know the guys bought that special moon pie. The, 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 that one that has all the different flavors. Okay. Oh, my That's God, bro. There is a one with a special Rip. flavor, bro. You telling me this now? I love that <laughs> granny, bro. <laughs> no, I, I can I, always it's, go it's back and get some okay. pies. There's like a shit Ryan. I just created a bunch of fun pies for you guys, and like I like listed... I think you guys just forgot to ask. It's all right. Um, so who had pies? Who had pies for though? this pie? Uh, I have uh, one pie left. I gave one pie towards Irina. I know that. I tried. Um, she wouldn't take it. And I know. No, I don't think she took it. yours either, Phoenix. Oh, she know. didn't really eat it. it. She was too nervous to eat it. She Damn. was just kind of like. Uh, I have. Kind of riding away. I have one piece oh. of pecan, one piece of chicken. So oh, I, I have. I have one I've eaten pecan chicken. and one purple. If I remember to write, write all of you guys ate a piece of your pies, right? Yes. Yeah. I okay, I'm just making idea. sure because I yeah. wrote dream sequences, and I didn't want to miss anybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think sure gave like half of his pie towards his like mule. Okay, oh, yeah. that sounds good then. Wait, 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 wait! Is the mule gonna have a dream sequence too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys would not know what this dream sequence is, but I will read. I, I will tell you the results basically. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So it looks like Moonchild, you're gonna go sleep on the cart. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, that leaves Baja. Where are you sleeping? Uh, am I still drinking? Uh, it depends. You want to still drink? Uh, I mean, you... just just a little bit, but not too much. I just want to like you know just like tell him like thank you. I appreciate it with a bottle of wine, just the bottle itself, yeah. you know. And yeah, then, okay. like like you know like. <sighs> So he, you, he's, he you guys are drinking um through the night? Uh uh not through the night. I'm gonna sleep. Night? Okay. I'm sleep okay, soon. so I would I'm say that too. it's uh by the time everybody falls asleep and you're still drinking, it's a little bit past midnight. So like how how much time would I be able to sleep for? Uh I mean you need to, for a long rest, you need to sleep for at least eight hours. I'll be fine. Um okay. I'll sleep uh, I'm not actually you, you guys haven't not slept any like at all. I I took a short rest. Like our, um, we, last time we all slept was at the mansion. Yeah, the Burgomaster's mansion. So the slept consequences the, of not taking a long rest within after twenty four hours is a is exhaustion. Basically. Well, what about a short rest? Because I did take uh, a short rest. On short the rest won't. won't, <laughs> Wait, won't. I am taking a long rest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you click the wrong rest button if you guys are taking a long rest. Um, um, I'm just gonna ask them. Like, do they got like any like? hay or like something yeah. i just want to i just want to sleep like right on the side of like the edge of the log nearby arena so like right here basically. um yeah and i, I like nods and he, he he like um because 
all of the other, most of the families and the children are going to sleep. You watch him kind of like walk off uh, towards one of the tents, and he like returns with a bundle of hay, most likely to feed their horses. Um, and he like lays down the hay next to you, um, and uh, he he's gonna be like, "Well, have good nights, young man." And he's gonna go into his family uh, tent and go to sleep. And Bryn and Lisa also nod as they go to their respective sleeping locations, which is these tents right here and the wagon. Um, yeah, and if you're going for a long rest, Baja, go ahead and click the wrong rest button. All right, hold up. I go to my character thing again. Okay, so. cool. All right, so you guys actually sleep through the night without any disturbance. Um, give me one second while I turn on daylight. No, my long rest work. No, it Did should it? it should work. I mean, it oh. basically you'll know if it works if all your spell slots are back. Okay, hold okay, on. Right. Yeah. Let's... All right. So you guys sleep through the whole eight hours. Those, uh, since all of you consumed um, the pies from Granny, we'll start off with. Uh, we'll start off with Moonchild. Moonchild, you fall asleep and you have these wonderful, sweet dreams once more of your mentor. Um, this time, however, you see yourself performing divine magic um specifically magic that is able to tap into sort of the future as well as a little bit of magic that allows you to sort of see through the intentions of other people um you finally the dream ends with you sitting in front of your mentor giving her a reading with the Taraka cards. Dinner? Yeah, that's good. Um, and the moon, and, and uh, the, 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 okay, the dream fades and you awake with sort of a, a little sad feeling of sort of loneliness, I suppose, because you haven't seen your mentor in a while and you feel more resolved to learn about the Taraka cards. Yeah, bro. Ben got the dumb B, bro. You saw um, that? <laughs> uh, Clip it, Deca. Deca, you fall asleep <laughs> dreaming. Oh, uh, so I did not have oh, any. Have pies. Any okay, you didn't have any pies. Okay, so no dreams for you then. You you have a normal. Actually, wait. You didn't have any pies. Okay, yeah. So you have a normal night of sleep. Go ahead and oh, roll God. me a wisdom saving throw for. Nightmares. I I feel like PTSD um, is a bitch, you know. Like yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's 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 why. So go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw. I don't want characters. It definitely, uh, I get PTSD. I got burnt. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wisdom saving throw is above your skills. Yes. Yo, y'all eating hot Cheetos now? Yo, oh, Ben. The hot Cheetos. Okay, here we go. Damn. Why y'all okay. got it in a zip slot? So with a fifteen wisdom saving throw. Your dreams are not as bad as you would expect from what you sort of witness and experience with that sort of hallucination or something while you were in the mist. You find yourself in a graveyard surrounded by dead bodies and piles and piles of loot. But each time that you go to pick up the loot and the gold, the coins and the weapons move away ever out of your grasp you are chasing through most of this dream a giant bag of gold and each step you take it moves an additional step never letting you fully catch it finally you awaken with this terrible sort of sinking feeling in your stomach of not ever gaining any wealth again and being completely devoid of what you desire most. And so you wake up feeling absolutely terrible. Damn, bro. You had a shitty rest, bro. That barrel really hurts your I back. I not even get the gold, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing you care about is the gold? Damn. <laughs> my, my man was like, uh, dude, the gold. All right. Um... Excellent. Then, okay. So next, we're gonna go to you, Ben. Um, you fall asleep with sweet dreams, and you actually see 
the site of one of your earliest sort of heroics in a town of primarily dwarves. Um, you're, you are surrounded by these very like thankful commoners and sort of peasants. And you see yourself shaking the hand of the town guard. Um, and he's thanking you for saving them from some unknown creature that you, in the dream, can't remember actually defeating. And they throw you, the, the dream shifts, and they throw you a giant feast and banquet with lots of food, drinks, mead, everything galore. The dream ends with you waking up and accepting a sort of badge from the town mayor crowning you as their honorary sort of knight. But when you awaken and you don't see that you have that sort of badge, you feel a terrible sinking feeling of sort of negligence and disapproval as if all of your efforts have been in vain and that no one cares. Damn. Okay. It was um, this monster he fought. <laughs> he fought that dude, yes. And then finally, Baja, go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back <laughs> to here. Go here. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Wisdom saving. Wisdom saving. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to look for the word wisdom saving. Release. It's just wisdom, right? Yeah, wisdom, wisdom saving throw. throw. Oh, wisdom saving throw. Not not the stat, like the saving throw. Saving throw. So okay, it's above uh, the skills block. An actual thing, yeah. Is wisdom that? saves it's because, like, Saving some throws. some classes have proficiency in wisdom saves or whatever mm. save. That's so, why there's a check mark next to the stat. Yeah, it's like underneath where it says. Oh, it's I see. Proficiency, yeah. bonus. proficiency bonus, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Wisdom and then normal, right? Uh, yeah, normal. Okay. Okay. Damn. With an eight, you find yourself in a purple haze surrounded by a very similar dream to Decca, if you had talked to him, surrounded by tombstones and the graves. However, what is most sort of disturbing about your dream is that you see your mother mounted upon a horse, cloaked in darkness. When you approach her and you look at her face, what was once the beautiful sort of figure of a female woman is a skeleton, bearing her features, yet her solid eyeballs. Those green eyes look at you, and the teeth opens, but no words or sound comes out. Yet in your mind, you can hear the words that she, told, she spoke to you while you, while you were in the mist. You must remember. And then the dream fades as the figure on the horse gallops away, fleeing into the mist with an almost anxious hurry before your dream ends and you awaken and you feel a knot in your chest at not knowing what that means or what your mother is doing within the mists. Can I like wake up and just like automatic like vomit on the side? Yeah, I mean, yeah, go ahead. So, uh, so as <laughs> all right, so everyone's up now, and as you guys all awake, you guys hear the retching sound of Baja vomiting into the grass. Oh, Arena actually sh um, is already awake. Um, Arena is awake along with uh, also the leaders of the uh, the, the caravan group. Um, Bryn and Alec are preparing a meal. It looks like that they must have sent out an early hunting party. Um, it's approximately 10 a.m. at the moment. Um, it seems like they've sent out an early hunting party, and they have on the spit uh, what looks like to be a small wolf, um, like sort of spitting on the roast. Um, Irina has finished Freaking the item dogs. that she's making for you, Ben, um, and she's going to call out into the woods. Uh, ben! Ben, uh, I, I have your thing. Um, ben wakes and... up and falls off the tree. <laughs> yeah, so Ben, how do you wake up? How do you wake up? 
on all yeah. fours, he yeah. like runs yeah. toward the arena. <laughs> oh, four is like, a dog. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. He slumps like on splats, and then he just doesn't even want to stand up. He just starts going like this. <laughs> Wait, can he can yeah, you do an athletics roll? Let's <laughs> see if he does. Okay, um, I, I run over. Oh, you run over. You're still in the tree, bitch. I do okay, I jump off my my tree branch on my I'm gonna <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I, didn't have to get I, I just yeah. really want this on four thing. Lori put me on this commitment here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So Ben, I guess you return back to the group. Yo, Ben's just seeing me vomit. I rolled an eight, so up. yes, I fell out of the tree. <laughs> yes, oh, let's go! <laughs> you, you fell out of the tree? Um, and you land, but, uh, you land, and you kind of, like, cramp your legs a little bit, but you don't take any damage. You, 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 you're like basically, him. like, getting up, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, like, you know, like, aches in the morning. Um, and you and, guys um, watch as Ben kind of returns to the group. Yeah, how do you return to the group? Yeah, I mean, like, you said it's ready? Don't uh, bitch. Yes, I've <laughs> completed your cloak, and, and, and a, a little, uh, the rest of your outfit. I've, I've added my little sort of... Signature, and you can see she's sewn at like the bottom left hem of your like cloak or your new outfit. Um, just her initials, uh, Irina, uh, I K, Irina Kolyanovich. Um, and she it's just like a small golden letters, um, in thread. Oh. And so she hands you over the outfit, and uh, yeah, it's the outfit that is now Ben's character. Yeah, put oh, it on. Say, oh my god, it it's like it's, it's, it's just like it's, yeah, it's just like a shiny golden thread in like small letters. It just says IK at the bottom left of her. And does it match with your golden tattoos that we do not know of yet? Are they golden? Yeah, yeah. it's golden. They are golden. Oh, I didn't it know that. She doesn't know that, but she just kind of sewed it on that. and finished her embroidery, which actually level Wait, Ben her. also got the fit on. Ben is also into character too. Oh my god, they both into character. Oh but my actually, god. Actually, Yo. that actually allowed Irina to gain a new skill. Oh. Nice. Sewing um, master. Let's uh, go carpentry. She, so she does <laughs> know how to... She's going to be able to use her sewing skills to suture together wounds and provide you guys some small healing after fights. Oh, or, my God. I guess during fights, oh. too. Oh my god, yo, we don't even need to use healing work no more. She can just sew us up. Yo, we're like a doll now to her. Holy well, shit. We could still use healing work. Ben, you know what I love? It's like, it's like I, you know I I'm this gonna great die. Imagination. When you started cramping, right? Right? You just like quickly, still excitedly said, Oh, it's done? Like, you did not care that you were her or anything. You're like a kid in Christmas, bro. I love that. <laughs> Your excitement was going crazy. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, there it's we go. Ben. There's those eyes. No, he like full on, like, like, pop, put that shit on. He's like, I need you. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> for justice, for Gotham. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you guys can do your role playing thing. So she does have suturing as a new skill that she knows. Um, essentially, she's just going to be able to provide you guys some minor healing. Uh, in battle. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. I go up to Ben. Hey, what's that? What's what? What's what's this? Ah, that's my, with everything. That's my, He's my, my new assaulted, logo. Bro. What is it supposed to be? The you spider. <sighs> uh, Why does it have six legs? I, I interrupt him real quick in the middle of me throwing up. Like, say... What's the point of a spider? <laughs> Just start throwing up again. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. Explain yourself. <laughs> Irina, can you add two more legs to <laughs> uh, And she's kind of like, she looks like kind of like disappointed that you didn't really like her efforts, but she's like, wow. Well, I. Yes. Uh, I, 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 it's my fault. It's not your fault. I, I totally. Uh, um, I, I'm gonna need some more time, uh, but I guess hey, if don't blame this on additional legs. Don't blame legs. this on Irina. I just I, said I, it was I, my I, fault. I could, I could add some additional legs uh, when we uh, get onto the road. Then, and she, I she, her. Looks little, she actually looks a little bit sad that she <laughs> her. Her. It was like, making. Like, it was my fault, Irina. I'm sorry. You better wear it. You better it's, keep it's it. Okay. Change your mind right and now. She, I didn't give like, you the right specs. It's my fault. She she kind of like. It's it's fine. I um, I, I'm gonna. 
I'll take She's it. Gonna get, get some of the Luffy. food and make sure we have food. Don't worry, gonna, I mean, like, I'll take care of him. She's gonna sulk away to Elisa, and Elisa's gonna back back and goes, Bonk. "Some men, they never have any, any, any respect." And then they kind of like go over, and she, you guys watch you them go, go to the side, um, and they're sort of like putting together some rations for you. So, yo, um, can somebody yeah. give me some tea, bro? I'm so yakking over here, bro. <laughs> this uh, is, yo, this this wine, bro, was hitting different last night. God Brent, damn. Ben comes over and goes, "Well, we have some water." But uh, we don't. I mean, you could drink your wine. You know what they say: more alcohol helps the hangover. And you're then right. Alec goes, "Alec goes, drink." You're, <laughs> you're the right. other side of the campfire. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna be like, you're, "You're right." Pass me a bottle. <laughs> and then, uh, so Alec tosses a bottle over to Brit. He catches it, uncorks it, and he like, "Open wide, young dragonborn." Ah. Uh. Uh, much better. Oh, you just okay. start throwing right. up. <laughs> Looks like Ben Ben sent me a new version of his thing. Wow. So I'm gonna update his character. Uh, but ben, just when you're it. on the road, yeah, you don't have to put it. Give us in media. lore. Yeah, yeah okay, canonically. So, I mean, it gives Irina a distraction. I guess like she gets uh, to settle instead of going crazy. Yeah, Fair play. True. Even though, even uh, though she's gonna hate you a bit. Is there anything that you guys else want to do? I know, Moonchild, you said you wanted to go talk to oh, Madam yeah. Eva. Okay, cool. So, so after we're done talking I... shit about Ben. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, thanks. <laughs> right, no. like... Moonchild, enter Madam Eva's tent. Um, and I can do a quick scene. We don't have to go over to the, the, the map. Yeah, that's um, fine. Okay, yeah, yes. My corp go? Um, and then you guys, uh, please figure out if you guys want to do anything last minute things while at the yeah. camp before heading out. And then I'm going to yeah, do a scene do. for uh, Moonchild. So Moonchild, you enter the tent and you actually see a very sleepy looking Madam Eva. She is awake. And as you answer, she goes, ah, Moontroud. I expect you to come back after the, the Raka card meetings. But then she yawns and she's like, it's like a, she's an old woman, right? She's got kind of mm -hmm. like yellowy teeth. He goes, but not that early. What do you need, young child? I wanted to ask you if you could possibly teach me about the Taraco cards or give me some type of information or teach me anything that you can. Um, and she's going to like steep her fingers together and she's going to say, ah, yes. The ways of the Taraka cards require tapping into ancient divine magics that aren't accessible to some. However, I sense a divine soul inside you, a touch from perhaps a god or an angel. I, while I would like you to stay, I feared you have much on your plate. Yes, I do. So... I will be willing to lend you one of my Taraka decks. However, before you do your first meetings, That's you 11. must understand the knowledge presented in the cards themselves. And then she's going to like shuffle over to one of the shelves. If you remember, she had a bunch of shelves. She's going to pull off one of um, her books. And she's gonna hand it to you, and on the, it, it has no title. But when you open the book to the first, um, page, it says. Taraka, yeah, I'm gonna type it out, but it says Taraka Secrets of Madam Eva, oh, okay. which seems to be as you flip through the book, um, that's the book Taraka Secrets of Madam Eva. It seems to be a description of how to perform Taraka readings, as well as sort of summon the divine ancient magics, that. Is sort of dispensed amongst the Vistani. You get a sense that there might be other Vistani fortune tellers that have her sort of understanding of the Taraka cards, but not to her level and skill. So you can add that book to your inventory, and mechanically, every night before you go to sleep, every long rest, you can take the time to read from it. You can take a couple hours to read from the book. What if we're like on the road? Could I read it like while we're on the yeah, road? Yeah, you can read it on the road too. So basically, uh, what I'm going to say is you're going to need three hours uh, uh, for one arcana check. All right. So um, every, so every three in-game hours, <laughs> basically you're studying from the book. 
Yeah. And after a sort of, I will, I kind of have a number of times that you must succeed for a contract before I give you full access to the Taraka deck. Okay. Okay. But yeah, just so you know, that's how that's going to work mechanically. Um, I'm going to write that down just so you remember, but please keep track. She gave me a Jim Henson Labyrinth Tarot deck. That's dope. I'm going to roll for my uh, proficiency in both hands. Huh? Okay. Yeah, sleep. go ahead. But I did not. It's just a normal roll, right? Uh, DC 15 charisma check. Yes, normal roll. You have to be 15. What did you get? Got 17. Excellent. So, um, as part of sort of your training through the night, Ben, you sort of, at the very last edge of your dreams, you were able to contact a that same assassin ghost from before. And you see, he, this time, through your convincing, he is not dismissive of you, and he kind of grunts. And he... You spend about an hour in the dream world um, learning how to use your sword. So now you are able to add your... You're astral projecting? So, mm -hmm. uh, well, he's talking to the dead. He's talking to ghosts. Oh. He's not yeah, he's a ghostbuster now? Um, he has whispers <laughs> with the dead. Yeah. Mm, um, yeah and so, it. yeah. So that means you are What's able... Phasmophobia? You're able to add your... Da, da, da. What I was it? You're able to add your dexterity to your second offhand attack. Cool. So I'd say I would roll both as like a regular. Yeah, but you still roll as regular, yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. That works for me. I got like. I got like. Okay. Oh, cool. Alright. Like right. Yeah. Uh, Bahad, is there anything you want to do? Yeah, like two or three things. Uh, so let's, do let's do two things. Two two things. Okay, yes. we could get out we could get rid of the first one because the first one was just dumb shit. Okay. Um first one. Uh can I get some water, boil it on the pot, and then yeah. put in my water skin? For then I can uh, just yes. fill up. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh and then That'll be quick. On. That that'll be quick. Um we can say that you were like sort of uh, boiling it. No. Yeah. I'm just gonna put like in the water skin, in the half water skin. Yeah. Uh and then um I'm gonna put that back to full water skin. Um and then the other thing is is it okay? Uh may I go to Irene? Cause we all did our future thing except for Irene. I would like to know okay. if she would like to go check to do it. You know, like I won't go in there. It's just her yeah, business. Yeah. Basically, um, like I'm gonna give her I'm gonna walk with her, but I'm just gonna stand outside the door. Okay, yeah, so uh, you actually see, uh, by the time you finish boiling your water, Aliza's back prepping the meals. You see a lot of the Vistani are coming out at the moment, and they're joining you guys to eating the meals, um, eating breakfast. Um, and Irina comes back. She actually has a couple of rations, a couple of boxes of rations for you guys. So you guys have four additional rations that she's going to hold on for you guys um, of wolf meat, jerky, potatoes, and other sort of foods within Barovia. So she's going to have rations for you guys too. Um, she was able to get some rations from Eliza, but she looks at you, Baha, and she says, well, I suppose my fortune would not be a bad thing to expect, yes. Although, I, I, I wouldn't rather, I, I don't know if I want to know if, what if I die in the future? I don't, I don't want to know my death. You could outplay death when you know the future already. I'm sorry, Baha, but I'm willing to do it, but from what I've seen in Barovia, messing with the threads of fate seems to inch you closer to Lord Strahd. He might even have control of the threads of fate. I, I don't know. All right, then it's all good. We'll we'll keep on doing our mission. Keep making sure that you're safe. I, I think we should just get me to Valaki. Valaki is, it is one of the only settlements in Barovia that hasn't been under siege by Strahd. He seems to not be able to crack its walls. 
I say we head there as quickly as we can. The Vistani might be able to provide us protection, but even they cannot withstand against werewolves and wolves. And I, to be honest, and she looks around and you can actually see little children running around. I don't want him, I don't want to threaten the, the Vistani just because for my sake. Alrighty then. It's all good. I'll, I'll okay. take that off your hands and I'll put it into the cart. Is she like holding all the stuff still? Yeah, like, she's holding. She's she's holding like the boxes of items. Um, can I actually like, just take yeah, it? Yeah, or... yeah. She's gonna hand it off to you, um, and then she's gonna be like, "Okay, well, thanks so much. I'm gonna go say goodbye, and um, uh, I'm gonna get some directions as well. I kind of have a general idea where we're going, and then she's gonna go talk to Eliza and Alec, um, to get directions to head to Valaki, and um, yeah, if you guys are all good to go, we can sort of do a montage of like <laughs> everyone getting ready. And uh, getting ready back on the road. We're uh, whenever we can, I would. Uh, what's up? Ben? Who? Me? Uh, whenever we can, like I guess once we get on the the road, I want to try and contact Lose. Oh, cool. All on right. the road. Um, Deca, do yeah, you have anything do, else? Yeah. Last minute thing or no? Uh, no. Um, what time is it? Uh, uh, it's, so by the time that you guys sort of finish talking and doing all the discussion, it is roughly 11 a.m. Um, okay. at the moment. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm going to just put you guys onto the traveling map, of course.